What's going on you guys? So another Dell Inspiron 3020. This is the small form factor. Can be upgrades. So what I'm gonna do is remove the side cover panel. So the attempt screws one at the top, one at the bottom. And this one is uh, guys is uh, Intel Core i5 13 Gen. So what you're gonna do is remove the front cover plastic. It's got, you see the plastic clips. It comes out like this. The slides. So this has an air mesh in the front here and it kind of blocks the airflow. So if you guys wanna get a better airflow, you probably have to try to remove it like this. You see that? The way you're gonna remove it is gonna take a flathead screwdriver and just rip it just peels off and it'll be have a better airflow because otherwise the airflow is not gonna be that good for the front because it goes it has no fans in the front and back so it just got will be better because only this airflow it gets from is gonna be the side cover panel here right there that's all so what I'm gonna do is just gonna remove the cage here hard drive cage and it's got a one screw here use a Phillips head screwdriver and you're gonna lift this up like this it comes out and this you actually can will fit as there's a space right here for installed optical drive and for three and a half uh, three and a half inch hard drive if you want or two and a half inch if you want to install it so what i will do is it's got the 512 gig solid state drive and what i need to do is get a phillips head mini screwdriver and there's a one screw here you have to remove And just gonna lift this up like this and it comes out so the way you could pull you're gonna pull it up like that and it comes out so this one is a 2280 and if you guys don't have a 2280 uh, they'll you want to install 2230 what you have to do is you're gonna take this right here the standoff mounting screw here you see that and you're gonna remove it and install it 2230 right here. I'm gonna show you guys, small one. I got one here. This one is uh, 2230, you see that? So what you're gonna do is you can install 2230. You're gonna take this thumb screw right here, the standoff, install it right here. And you're gonna mount the 2230 like that. But if you have 2230 already installed and you do an upgraded 2280 like this one, then you have to take the, the, the standoff installer here in the top. Don't forget. So this is a 512 gigs, kind of small. And I will be installing uh, one terabyte. Samsung. Yeah, you guys can see it's going to be a one terabyte SSD. Yeah, this is a 2280. So again, I need to take this standoff screw and install on the top again. And you take a Phillips head.
it can install this back. So hold it your finger like this and install it. So now what I'm gonna do is install, upgrade the RAM. It's got only one gig of stick. So this is DDR4 3200. It's only eight gigs, single channel, pretty slow. So I'll install the exact same one. It's using a 90 cc on buffer RAM. So I'm gonna make a total of 16 gigs. So I'm gonna do install like that. There's only one way to install. You can hear two clicks. And so basically the maximum you can upgrade to this system is uh, 32 gig per each slot. So make it 64 gigs of RAM. So will be the last part. I'll install guys the VD card. And the top the top one is PCI Express times one. The bottom one is a PCI Express times 16, the blue slot. That's when we install the VD card. So I'm gonna take this slide here. You move the PCI bracket. And it's using a low profile. I got the only one I have right now on me is a GT 1030 on hand, low profile. But are you guys are gonna be using gaming, you guys have to use a RX 6400. I'll put a link in the description, you can buy it. Uh, the power supply is 180 watt. So it worked perfectly fine. And you're gonna install the VA car like this. And put it back in. If you guys are asking, what about the windows? It's got Windows 11. But you can, if you don't like Windows 11, you can install Windows 10 if you want. It's This one's running Windows uh, 11 Pro, but you can downgrade to Windows 10 Pro if you want. I'll put a link in the description. I did a laptop install Windows, and it's pretty easy. It'd be the same way installed for the desktop. So that's installed. Now, what I will do is install back that bright right here, that cage. And if you guys are gonna install the three and a half inch Hard drive, you have to remove one screw here, the top one, the bottom, to this other cage comes out. Show you guys the back side. So here's the video card installed. It's got the HDMI port and DVI port. See you guys this be the end of the video and I'll do a separate video for the teardown. Thanks for watching. Bye.